Hey folks, welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Do you want to add a little bit of shine to your products or text? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm going to teach you just how to do that. Go ahead and open up After Effects. As you can see here, I have a 1920 by 1080 sequence on screen and a Coke bottle. I just have a slow push in going in on the Coke bottle. It's very simple, but we want to add a little more. We want to add a bit of shine. So how do we do that? We select the product layer and then we go to effects and presets and we're going to search for light sweep. Go ahead and double click the light sweep to apply it to the product and we'll see a bunch of different options here in effect controls. And if you don't see your effect controls, make sure to open that up under window effect controls. Make sure that is open. Now let's look at what all these settings do. So the center is going to be what you're going to use to animate the sweep. So if we move these, you'll see that it sweeps across in this direction. So what you would want to do is start off off screen. You would make a keyframe. And then if you want to just look at that keyframe, make sure to select the layer and hit U on the keyboard. And then we're going to move over to about one second. And then we're going to sweep it across like this. Make sure you can't see the light anymore. And you'll see that it does a little sweep here. I'm actually going to make mine a little quicker. That's fine. So right now I have it at negative 30 direction, but you can actually switch that around to whatever you want. Like if you want it to be the other direction, you might want to switch it to positive 30, positive 40. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to stick with negative 30. We can change the shape of this streak. So if you go into here, you can see that there's a few different options. Right now it's on sharp, which is a mode that I like, but you can also try smooth. So it smooths it out a little bit if you want a more smoother look. And then we also have linear as well. We're going to just go back to sharp for the sake of this tutorial. You can increase the width of the streak. So if you want to make it more narrow or if you want to make it thicker, you can play around with that. And then you can actually play around with the light color as well. So let's say we want to make it a hot pink. We can adjust it like that. That's pretty much the basics of what you need to know. I'm going to adjust the settings a little bit so that it fits the way I like it. And that looks great. I find that this effect looks best on items and text that is not white. It's a little hard to see it on white text or white objects. But again, you can play around with the light color if you want to experiment with that. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. Is there something you want to learn in After Effects? If so, please let me know what you want to learn in the comments below and I'll try to do a tutorial for you. Have a great rest of your day, folks.